Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if the Xbox Game Bar is not working in Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to enable the bar from settings. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and then on the left pane scroll down until you find and select the gaming option. Now on the right side just click on the Xbox Game Bar section. Now once you're inside the Xbox Game Bar menu, just enable the toggle associated with the open Xbox Game Bar using this button on a controller option. Afterwards, just restart your PC and wait for the next startup to complete. And finally, just press the Windows plus G keys to open the Xbox Game Bar. Another useful solution is to reset the Xbox Game Bar component. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply select the settings icon and in here on the left pane make sure to click on Apps and afterwards on the right side click on Apps and Features. Now in the Search Apps box just type Xbox and then scroll down until you find the Xbox Game Bar and simply click on the three dots next to it and select the Advanced Options. In here scroll down until you find the Reset section and you can start by clicking on the Repair button. The app's data won't be affected in this case, but if you still want to go with the reset procedure, just click on the reset button and the app's data will also be deleted. That means the Xbox Game Bar will be completely set to default. Now you can check if the problem still persists. You can also enable the feature in Registry Editor. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type Reg Edit and then select Registry Editor from the search results. In here, you have to navigate to the following location, H key Current User, and then double click on Microsoft, then expand Windows, afterwards double click on current version, and then simply select the game DVR section. Now in here, if the app capture enabled key is missing from the right panel, you just have to right click anywhere and then choose new and then hover over the D word value. Now you can just name this value as app capture enabled. Now just double click this key and then in the value data section, make sure to input one instead of zero and then press on OK. Now you can restart your PC and then you can check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to repair the ieframe.dll file. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type cmd and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in the command prompt window, just copy paste or type the following commands from the description below and then press enter after each command. Once the processes have been successfully run, just reboot your PC and see if the Xbox Game Bar functionality has been restored. And lastly, another useful solution is to enable the Xbox Game Bar in the local group policy editor. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type gpedit.msc and select it from the search result. Now, in the local group policy editor, you have to navigate to the following location. Computer configuration, then expand administrative templates, afterwards double-click on Windows components, and then scroll down until you find the Windows Game Recording and Broadcasting and click it. In here, just double click on Enables or Disables Windows Game Recording and Broadcasting and then make sure that in the Configuring tab, just click on Enabled. Now select Apply and OK to save the changes. And that's it, plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.